how did my bottom job, plus repainting the red bootstripe, lead to so many repairs on Aquarius? Yup, I caught the can you also do this blues. I wanted to replace that with a plastic, but I haven't found one that fits. Cue the intro. In order to have days like this, you're going to have days like this. This is Tips on Tuesday. We're going to talk about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Stay tuned so you don't feel like doing this. If you like these videos, please subscribe and give us a like. And if you have anything to add to the conversation or any questions, please leave them below. One of the things that I dislike the most about the ML is this piece here. This piece here goes on the back of the boat on the outside and what it does is it keeps the water from going inside your gas compartment where you keep the gas canisters and it always rusts a little bit and then what happens is you got this rust line always going down the back of the boat and I always hated that so what I did was I had one made out of fiberglass here in Thailand and this one here is going to go on and there's no way it can rust and it's gel coated the same color as the boat so that's what I'm going to put on tomorrow and I'll let you see it on the boat sorry I just couldn't do it I couldn't attach that nice new fiberglass vent cover on that old gel coat. So, what to do? Getting ready to gel coat. Oot had finished with the stern, so now I had him gel coat the entire freeboard. And Aquarius should look beautiful, just like she did when she was one or two years old. Due to weather, we ended up getting behind schedule. They had about two weeks of work left to do on the freeboard gel coat job, and I only had three days left in Thailand. Because of COVID, I decided to leave Aquarius on the hard for six months and head to see friends and family in the US and Lithuania. I hate to have people work on Aquarius without me watching over them, but this time it would be impossible. Well, she's gonna look like a new boat when I get back. It's gonna be awesome. And that all looks really nice. Brand new gel coat. The other thing that uh, is gonna look really nice on Aquarius is um, the stripe is done with gel coat and the whole sides have all been redone with gel coat. And now for one of the final touches. We can install that vent cover. Ooh, that's nice. So today, we're gonna get the back end on.
Yeah, kill it down here. That should be good. That should be good. Hey, While inside the trunk, I tightened four nuts onto the bumper bolts and the job was complete. But then, something distracted me. Hey you, can you gel coat the inside of this trunk? Sure, I knew the answer. But he told me this part was wood and gel coat not very good on wood. So he painted the wood with epoxy and the rest of the trunk with gel coat. So we gotta take this thing off too. So all these pieces need to be cleaned up and then we'll put them back on later. Go slow, move everything slow, yeah. Okay. That one's gone, we're gonna take this one off. Then we're going to, uh, I think we'll loosen all the bolts on that. This right here, is the remote gas shutoff valve. Gas comes in here from the tanks and goes out here into our galley, oven, and two burners. This right here is the electric wire that goes to the 24 volt panel in the galley. And you can turn on and off the gas right here. In order for Aquarius to have a gas leak, two parts have to fail. This shutoff valve and one of the thermocouple switches in the burners. For those of you that think that gas is not safe, this is actually a pretty safe setup. Another question is, why not just get rid of the gas? Just use your lithium iron phosphate batteries to do everything, cooking, etc. I could get rid of the gas, but I have a choice, a kitchen with a real burner or just electric. Me, I like a real flame to cook on. And this is just part of the redundancy. If, for some reason, I don't have electric power, I can still make a hot cup of coffee. So we can just move it aside. And we'll take this door off and get it fixed up really nice. And then all the stuff in here is all going to be beautiful. All undone. I guess it's as good as it's going to get. All of it's going to be cleaned up. Our tough gel, and uh, now we're going to put these things on. If the parts meet, I'm just going to put a touch of touch tough gel on there, and that's going to spread out. So we finished it off, everything's put back, put away, and it actually looks pretty good.
Oh, now I just have to clean up my mess and I gotta go test it out. And there we go. And for one of the final tests, perfecto. So I started putting some stuff in here. There's my hose bag. I'm trying to get everything organized. And now all my extra hose is in this bag. So anyways, I got a hose bag on the boat. It's all nice and clean on the inside. Everything looks nice. So we're basically done with the stern locker. Looks great and I really like the way it all turned out for the most part. This is a really nice touch. All the nice wood done. And of course our back bumper looks awesome. Of course, I don't really know how long it's gonna look that way because the way it was done. But right now, it looks great. This is Oot. Yep. Now, Oot, you did my bottom job? Yep. You did a very good job, very good job. Yep. And uh, really appreciate it. Also, he's the one that did the, the gel coat in my trunk. And if you ever get to Krabby Boat Lagoon or Phuket, and you need some gel coat work done or you need a bottom job that's the man to do it right there if you like this video give us a like down below and click here to subscribe that really helps us and if you want to watch more of us click one of those they said they came from Spanish. Oh. Yeah.